welcome to My Healthy Sweet Tooth. Today we are going to be making my super moist and indulgent carrot cake banana bread. It's a twist on your classic carrot cake and fluffy banana bread. It only requires a few simple natural ingredients that you probably already have at home. So without further ado, let's push up those sleeves and get started. The first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius. While the oven's preheating, you're going to want to go ahead and spray your bread pan. And if you don't want to make carrot cake banana bread, you can always turn them into muffins by using a standard 12 dish cupcake tin. You can set this aside now. To make this bread, here's what you will need. You're gonna need two cups oat flour, which you can either buy this store-bought or you can just grind up your favorite oats. One and a half bananas, which we're gonna eventually mash. A half a cup of grated carrots. A half a cup of chopped walnuts, which you can omit if you're allergic or just don't like walnuts. Or you can totally swap for pecans or almonds would be delicious as well. A half a cup of pure maple syrup, which you can also use for honey. A few spices, one eighth teaspoon of nutmeg, three fourths teaspoon sea salt, three fourths teaspoon baking powder, one teaspoon cinnamon, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, and a half a cup of almond milk or your favorite plant-based milk of choosing. To start, you're going to wanna to combine all your dry ingredients to a large bowl. That includes the walnuts as well. and whisk well. It smells really good. <laughs> and again, if you aren't using the walnuts, you, you don't need to add them here in this dry ingredient mixture. It would still taste great without them. I just enjoy them because they add a nice crunch. Once you have all your dry ingredients whisked together, you're going to want to set this bowl aside. Next, we're going to combine all of our wet ingredients in a separate bowl, starting with our almond milk or other plant-based milk of choosing. Our vanilla extract. Our maple syrup. Our carrots, and your bananas. This is one and a half bananas. If you are using larger bananas, I only recommend using one. I'm going to mash these there. Once your bananas are mashed, go ahead and add them to your wet ingredient mixture. It's good to use ripe bananas because then they will naturally sweeten your bread. But if you don't have ripe bananas, on hand, you can always just use normal ones as well. Just maybe adjust the maple syrup accordingly to your taste preference. And now using a spatula, you're gonna to wanna to mix all these ingredients together. Fun fact, when I first made this banana bread for my family, it didn't last 30 minutes. My whole family devoured it. So it's great for families, better for kids. It's something everyone can enjoy, and it's so indulgent, you won't believe it's healthy. Once your wet ingredients have been well incorporated, you're gonna wanna add them to your dry ingredients. You're gonna wanna mix well one more time just to make sure that everything is well coated in your wet mixture. And if you're also gluten-free or you despise oats, you can also use almond flour or coconut flour would be great as well in this. It would add a new flavor and really brighten up the dessert. Once everything has been well mixed, we're gonna transfer our batter into our prepared baking dish. And again, if you're using a standard muffin tin, I would just recommend using an ice cream scoop to evenly distribute it between each muffin cup. Now 
And once you've transferred your batter, you can spread it out using a spatula just to evenly distribute it. And then once it's been evenly spread out among the baking dish, we are gonna place this in the oven at 350 and let it bake for 35 minutes or until a toothpick comes out clean. And if you have a double racked oven, I recommend putting it on the top rack so that way it doesn't burn. Once your bread is done baking, you're going to want to let it cool while it's still in the baking dish before attempting to remove. That usually takes somewhere between 10 to 15 minutes. And once it's done cooling, you're going to want to transfer it to a wired rack and also put it underneath a baking tray because now we are going to make a delicious finger licking cream cheese glaze. This step though is completely optional, it would still be just as delicious without it. To make the cream cheese glaze, you only need five simple ingredients. First up, one cup organic powdered sugar. You can also use normal powdered sugar as well. On my blog, I have a substitution sheet for weird ingredients that I often use that have easy, healthy substitutes that you can easily replace. So one cup organic powdered sugar. Next to your large bowl, you're gonna wanna add four ounces of vegan cream cheese, or if you're not vegan, you can just use normal cream cheese as well, or low-fat cream cheese. Three tablespoons of vegan butter softened. You wanna make sure that you take your butter and cream cheese out ahead of time to get soft, perhaps an hour or two before baking. You're gonna to wanna to add two tablespoons of plant-based milk of choice. I'm using almond milk again. And lastly, one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Next, you're gonna to wanna to mix all this together using an electric hand mixer. Once the icing has been well mixed, now comes the fun part, pouring it over top of the bread. You're gonna to wanna to do a generous amount here, but just have fun with it. It tastes amazing, so. This is the element of the bread that makes it so irresistible and decadent. So I highly recommend, but if you're strongly against cream cheese glaze, that is a-okay too. This final step is completely optional, but feel free to garnish with some shredded carrots and some chopped walnuts to add that nice crunch. Once you're done adding your optional garnished, it's ready to be sliced up and enjoyed among family, friends, or just by yourself. And it's time for a taste test. Mmm, that's really good. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching my first video. If you guys want the full ingredient list and the full recipe, it's on my blog, myhealthysweettooth.com. Thank you guys so much for watching and I really hope you guys make this delicious recipe. I guarantee it'll be your new favorite. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!